Good morning, Bulldogs. I'm Anthony Rourke. And I'm Emma Wolford. And welcome to the BNN News Show. This week we'll be telling you more about Winter Warriors, Men's Basketball, Brencher Locations, High School Heroes, Church League Basketball, Chloe Jorgensen Senior Project, International Education Week, Key Club, and Sierra Lax's Senior Project. Check out this segment to learn more about Winter Warriors. Winter Warriors is back into swing. BNN sat down with sophomore Evan Porter to learn more about the program. Uh, Winter Warriors is um, a postseason cross country training program that um, Coach Weinheimer puts on every year, and um, it's just a good way to stay in shape and keep training for track and then the following cross country season. Basically, we meet up with Coach and he tells us what our training is. Uh, for a while, after the season, we do what we call rest week and just take down our mileage and recover from the season. And then we start to build up and start doing harder workouts um, that are faster. The purpose of Winter Warriors is to just stay in shape for and keep training year round because uh, we believe in, in every, uh, being an everyday person if you're going to be good at cross country. So uh, basically you got to train year round and it's a good way to do that. Pretty much anybody who wants to be in Winter Warriors can be in there. In, in it, uh, there are training levels for, uh, like any, for anybody who's just starting out, like from, even from middle school or that are high schoolers and just, and just trying it up to like Ben Rankin who runs like 60 miles a week. I think my favorite part from last year would just be just kind of hanging out after, after practice and stuff because when there's shorter runs, they're just, there's just a lot more time to have fun and stuff. This is Emma Wolford reporting for BNN. Watch this segment to learn more about the upcoming men's basketball season. Basketball season starts this week. BNN caught up with sophomore J.D. Harris to learn more. Well, we definitely want to beat East and uh, make a good tournament run. So, looking forward to it. Um, looking to f forward to like running a lot, getting up and down the court, um, playing in the transition. And I think we're going to win. New coach, he's cool. Um, he's a really good guy. Um, he lets us like run and get down the court and that's um I want to be a starter and um, like m one of my personal goals is just for like us to be east and that's like one of my main goals this is Emma Wolford reporting for BN check out this segment for printer and printer locations there are five printers that are located around the school technology coordinator Molly Bush tells more about the locations and where you can easily access the printers there are five printers located around the school that students can print at. The first one is located in the Me Media Center, which is the library, and it's 17-Media. Um, the second one is located in 1314, which is the resource area between the social studies and English area. Um, that one is used the most. It has gone through four toner cartridges since the beginning of school year. Um, the next one is located um, upstairs in 2306, and that one is the resource area in between the two science hallways, slash the math resource area as well, but it's in between the two hallways. Um, the next one is located in the business area. It's 2425, and that one is mostly for business um, students to print to. Uh, the next and last one is in 2008, and that's the ESL room. Um, for foreign language um, students to print to. This is Dylan Eggers reporting for BNN. Check out this segment to learn more about High School Heroes. The High School Heroes had their annual program on Thursday. BNN talked to Natalie Teo to learn more about the program. High School Heroes is an awareness and prevention program for tobacco. A group of student assembly members usually goes out and talks to elementary schools. We talk to fifth graders about how tobacco is unhealthy. This program is important to help further educate elementary kids on how tobacco is bad. This is Morgan Smith reporting for BNN. Watch this segment to learn more about church league basketball. St. Bartholomew Church has a church league basketball program. 
To find out more, BNN caught up with Spencer Fairbanks. Church League basketball is a bunch of people get together and play basketball on Tuesday and Saturdays. Uh, people should play Church League basketball because it's uh, fun, um, it's an opportunity to exercise a little bit, and it's a fun social event, just talking to friends and stuff. The first practice will be on Tuesday, December 1st, starting at 7.30 at the gym in St. Bartholomew. This is Sam Lovell reporting for BNN. Watch this segment for a recap on Chloe Jorgensen's senior project. Senior Chloe Jorgensen hosted a fashion show at San Susi last weekend for her senior project. For my senior project, I did a fashion show to benefit San Susi, where basically I had a bunch of my friends model um, clothes that I got from San Susi and styled into outfits that were kind of fashionable or trendy for this season. And um, I, I had to watch a lot of uh, Fall Fashion Week of 2015 to kind of get a little bit of inspiration. <laughs> So San Susi is one of the only non-for-profit clothing distributors in America, and that's why I think it was so cool to like be able to help them at all. My favorite part of my senior project is that it related so much to like my future plans because after high school I plan on going to um, a liberal arts college for fashion journalism. Uh, I'll be able to study a lot about fashion and like how it works, like the patterns of styles and stuff like that. Um, so it was really cool to be able to do a project that related so much to my future. <laughs> This is Alexa Hampton reporting for BNN. Check out this segment to learn more about International Education Week. BNN got back with Miss Arthur for International Education Week. Um, International Education Week is a program uh, designed by the United States State Department. Um, it's primarily a college university program. Um, a year ago, I saw an article in The Republic where Ivy Tech was involved in International Education Week, and I thought, hmm, um, if we can do it at the college level, I bet we can do it at the high school level. So um, the goal of International Education Week is to um, promote uh, learning abroad, um, as well as um, celebrating diversity within our school. Um, so the world has become in increasingly more and more flat. And we think uh, the staff at North High School, teachers and staff at North High School, thinks it's important that our kids learn how to live and uh, lead in a global economy. This has been Julian Marshall reporting for BNN. Watch this segment to learn more on Key Club donations for Love Chapel. Key Club is taking food donations for Love Chapel up until holiday break. BNN interviewed Mrs. Burbrink to find out more. Key Club is a volunteer organization that partners with different community organizations. And about once a month, our kids go to Key Club or go to Love Chapel on a Saturday and volunteer with the food, um, the food bank. Um, Love Chapel passes out food to people in need. And um, that's what we're doing at Love Chapel. So we get emails from them saying what they need um, and they sent us one that they need different donations this time of year, especially around the holidays. And right now, what you can donate um, are boxed goods as well as canned goods. So anything like soup or macaroni and cheese, um, things like that that we can pass out. Bring donations up to my room in 2013 or Ms. Gerard's room and we'll get them there. This is Kobe Gray reporting for BNN. Check out this segment to learn more about Sierra Lax's senior project. This week, BNN caught up with Sierra Lax to learn more about her senior project, 5K on Turkey Day. I'm working aside of Love Chapel. My mentor is actually the director of Love Chapel, so I'm making sure we're getting the most money to Love Chapel. It's a nonprofit, so everything that will be collected at my, um, at my 5K will go directly to Love Chapel. The can collection will only take place the morning of Thanksgiving at my 5K. Uh, 
and each person's supposed to bring five canned goods along with their registration fee. To bring five uh, minimum canned donations along with, um, there's a $10 fee that will go towards a t-shirt if you pre-register, but if you come the day of, it's $15. It will be benefiting Love Chapel, and Love Chapel helps a lot of families in need, especially during the holiday season. So I hope it can give a family um, something to eat for Thanksgiving, for Christmas. This is Anthony Rourke reporting for BNN. And that's it for this week, Bulldogs. I'm Emma Wolford. And I'm Anthony Rourke. Make it a great day. If you'd like an announcement on the show, please email nhs underscore communications at bcsc.k12.in.us. BNN is a proud partner of CNHS Media at Columbus North in Columbus, Indiana. All music is provided by American Music Company.